Oxford Discover, Student Book 5, by Kenna Burke. Published and copyrighted by Oxford University Press. Page 182. Read. The Mystery of Peril Castle. Peril Castle was built in the 15th century to defend Helenbor City, but now it was deserted. It had been empty for over a hundred years. The local people didn't dare go near it. Its turrets looked terrifying against the evening sky. Thomas! shouted Thomas's Uncle Robert from the attic, where he'd been looking through old boxes. What is it? asked Thomas. Look, it's proof that Peril Castle belongs to us replied Uncle Robert. Here's the first half of our name. In his trembling hand was half a gold coin, with the letters D-A-W clearly visible on it. Thomas and Robert's last name was Dawson. Also on the coin was half of an eagle's body, with its left wing spread wide. Thomas had known all his life that Peril Castle was his family's castle, but without proof, Uncle Robert couldn't claim it. We need the other half of the coin. Let's see if we can find it, said Uncle Robert urgently. They ran out of the house and up the hill toward Peril Castle. Thomas felt nervous but they had to solve the mystery of the missing half coin. His knees were trembling as he walked toward the deep moat that surrounded the castle. It was filled with green algae. Robert pulled a lever and the drawbridge swung down, making Thomas jump. They scurried across the drawbridge. Thomas and Uncle Robert searched the gatehouse and the stables, but they found nothing. Then they went into the hall. Hurriedly, they checked every corner, searching for clues that would bring them closer to their goal. Where shall we look now? thought Thomas, staring at the courtyard. He gazed at the gray stones of the walls and looked up at the ramparts. Then he spotted an ancient metal ladder. Thomas climbed quickly, listening to his heart thumping. Pulling himself onto the ramparts, he saw a box with a rusty padlock on it. I found a box, shouted Thomas, shaking the lock. As his uncle scrambled up the ladder, the lid sprang open. At first, the box looked empty. But on closer examination, Thomas saw a secret drawer. He slid it open and found an old map of the castle. Uncle Robert and Thomas studied the map, which showed the castle as it had originally been built. Look, yelled Thomas, there's a secret passageway behind the ramparts. It goes right inside the 11th turret. As they walked round the ramparts, Thomas noticed a magpie flying back and forth from the 11th turret. His heart started to thump again and his body stiffened with anticipation. Halfway along the ramparts, the pair saw a mysterious crack in the wall. Uncle Robert reached into his bag and took out a hammer. He hit the crack several times, and suddenly a narrow door swung open. As Thomas was watching Uncle Robert, the magpie returned and vanished through a small hole above their heads. It's the passageway, whispered Thomas, squeezing through the narrow door. What do you see? asked Uncle Robert anxiously. Nothing. It's too dark, replied Thomas. He fumbled around for several minutes until he felt something. It was a pile of objects of different shapes and sizes. Thomas filled his pockets and crawled back out. Look at these shiny things the magpie has collected, he shouted. There was a key, a Roman coin, a piece of silver, a ring, 
a spoon, and a tiny mirror. What's this? said Thomas, brushing dirt off a lump of metal. Wait! I don't believe it! Thomas turned the metal over, and there, clear as day, were the letters S-O-N and an eagle's right wing. Uncle Robert passed Thomas the other half of the coin that he'd found in the attic. The two halves clicked together as if they'd never been parted. Dawson. This was the proof they needed. For a year, Uncle Robert and Thomas proudly restored the fortress. Once the job was done, they renamed it Peril Dawson Castle. Flying the family flag from the 11th turret, they invited all the local people to celebrate Helen Bohr's ancient castle with them. Mm-hmm.